Well, it is Black Friday and thousands of people are already shopping across Canada and the U.S. looking for Christmas bargains. I never get tired of seeing that video. Huge crowds lined up in the snow for hours to await the opening of a mall in Colorado Springs. But the cold wait outside turned into hot deals inside as shoppers sprang into action. Retailers are hoping for big sales today. Some even open for business on American Thanksgiving. But early figures indicate online sales are booming, which could dampen store sales. With us this morning is CTV News technology analyst Carmi Levy. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Beverly. So as people run to their keyboards and their computers and try to scoop these things up, tell me a, a, a one-two kind of punch on what we should be aware of so that we don't get caught. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to know who you're shopping with. So don't just go to any website out there. You'll want to go to the sites of legitimate stores that you would normally shop at or go to these aggregator sites like Red Flag Deals, Bargain Moose, or Smart Connects. And those are sites that are legitimate. And, and so you know that you can trust them. A, for the, for, you know, you'll get the, the, obviously the best deals, but at the same time, they're not going to lead you astray. They're fully secure um, and uh, you're not going to get hacked. Second, you want to make sure that on the, the laptop or the tablet or the smartphone that you're using for online shopping, make sure that all of the apps that you're using are in fact legitimate. So if you have an iPhone, for example, don't jail break it. Don't put yourself at risk uh, uh, when you go online. Make sure that your operating system and your applications are also updated fairly regularly because what will often happen is if you use an old version of, uh, of the app or of your software, it's easier for hackers to break in. Newer versions have more protections built in. They're less vulnerable to this kind of thing when you go online. There are some things that people are going to shop for that may, you know, maybe they're trusted retailers and, and maybe they haven't heard of them or maybe they haven't shopped there before. When you get that page on the screen that's asking for your financial information, what are you looking for to make sure that it's a secure site? Well, you should be looking around the edges of the browser. Look toward where the address line is at the top. There are a couple things that you'll want to make sure are there. The first thing is the actual name of the URL. It should say HTTPS. The S stands for secure. If it only says HTTP, do not shop there. Do not share any personal or financial information. At the same time, read the address very carefully, too, because sometimes rogue websites, they're slightly misspelled, like Amazon could have a second M in there. Don't go there because what they want to do is they want you to give you your uh, they want you to give them your confidential information which of course then they'll use to launch an identity theft attack and then finally look for that lock icon if the lock icon isn't there it's probably not a secure site you'll you're going to want to shop elsewhere and just a, a, a note on I guess your, your private data and protecting that don't leave it out online exposed. A lot of people, they'll save usernames, passwords, and other information for their accounts, for example, in their email inbox, which is a great big no-no because what happens is someone can break into your inbox. That's the first thing they're going to look for. And then, of course, if you use the same information in your, in your, uh, in your inbox, uh, they're going to go through all of your different accounts. They're going to break into one, then the other, then the other. Now you don't just have one problem, you have many. Such good tips, Carmi. So appreciate it. And we're going to have these on, online, by the way, So, because I think what people should do is go and print Carmi's tips and stick it to your computer for your family members. These are great tips. Thank you. Great being here, Beverly. Thank you.